on, Brady. We don't have long. We need to move fast before they transfer those prisoners. We gotta get them out. Hey, Brady. If you're heading out, we got some firecrackers you can take. Nothing like them for making a distraction. In the yellow zones, KPA forces will recognize you as a wanted man and trigger the global alarm. In order to avoid detection, ensure you keep civilians between you and any soldiers and stay out of sight of cameras, vehicles, and drones. Engaging in combat will also set off the alarm. If the alarm is raised, the KPA will begin hunting you down for as long as the alarm remains active. If you can break line of sight, then the alarm level will begin to reduce, but you can accelerate the cooldown by using hide spots. Be warned though, you can't enter a hide spot while in line of sight of KPA forces, and no safe house will let you enter at all while the alarm is active. Once the alarm level reaches zero, the alarm stops and the pursuit will end. Distraction devices are especially useful here. Throw them to move enemies out of your path or to confuse them while you make your escape. In order to start a revolution, you need to persuade ordinary people to join the fight. The map shows your progress towards inspiring the district to rise up, 
and the five different categories of actions that will contribute to your total. These are strike points which must be captured. Voice of Freedom, where you tune radios to the resistance station. Sabotage, where you destroy KPA infrastructure. Acts of liberation, such as saving people from police brutality. And finally, destroying the APCs that patrol the streets. In addition to raising hearts and minds, you also earn KPA tech points, which can be used to buy weapon conversion, guerrilla toolkit deployment methods, and new kit items. Once hearts and minds reaches 100%, you can activate the broadcasting of resistance propaganda across the district. This will cause the people to rise up and allows access to the KPA's key strongholds in the district. Hey Brady, it's Ned. Nice job getting the intel on the district. Now we know what we're up against. You can see the police station where they're holding my guys, but there's no way we can mount a rescue at the moment. The Norks have total control. We need to change that. We have to get the people on our side, appeal to their hearts and minds. With them behind us, our rescue stands a chance, and once we get the info on Walker, we can make our move. I gotta get back to the armory before some damn fool blows it sky high, but I'll stay in touch. Good luck, Brady. kill for some real food. Careful.
Stirring up trouble here in Ulster. You ever stop to think about the consequences? People are gonna get killed for you. The KPA won't stop to discriminate. They'll do whatever it takes to crush disorder. You have no right to risk innocent lives. I don't care how important your cause. You have no right! Resistance, motherfucker, what you're doing is on America. Wait. Hey. Brady, there's an abandoned apartment building near your location. It's used as a resistance safe house. Find a way in and see if it's suitable. Good job, Brady. Every act like this brings us more recruits. Brady, it's Ned. You're doing great. I heard Doc Burnett's not happy with us, but we can't afford any distractions now. Walker's too important. See it through, Brady. Once we push the Norks back inside this stronghold, we can hit the police station and rescue my people. Just keep going.
Alpha to Brady. That apartment's in a prime spot for us to monitor KPA movements through the zone. Could give us an edge. Sending a team to set up surveillance. Fill the Alpha out. house next to the Ashgate Church is seeing some heavy KPA traffic. If you can, try to recon the building and see what's going on that has them so interested. from there and broadcast a message across the district to galvanize the people into action.